Hi, my name is Alex, and today I would like to talk to you about Simple Checkout and setting up a hosted payment form. Simple Checkout helps you create buy now and donate buttons for your website. It's a simple process, even for those with limited technical expertise. Simple Checkout is a perfect solution for organizations that rely on donations and merchants who typically sell one item at a time to their customers. If you sell more than one item at a time, you should integrate to the payment gateway via one of our APIs. To learn more about our different integration options, please visit our API comparison page at developer.authorize.net forward slash API forward slash compare. In addition, many merchants find integrating to the payment gateway via shopping cart to be convenient. To find a list of authorize.net certified shopping carts, please visit authorize.net forward slash CSDIR. Simple Checkout has numerous features that can be customized to fit your individual business needs, including the ability to create buy or donate buttons for up to 100 different items, the ability to assign a unique item ID and description for each item, the ability to configure up to 10 shipping methods, including different fees for each method, the ability to specify the maximum quantity of each item per order that a customer may purchase. In addition, nonprofit organizations can specify suggested donation amounts or accept donations of any amount as entered on the payment form. Let's log into the merchant interface and sign up for Simple Checkout by visiting https colon forward slash forward slash account dot authorized dot net. After entering your login ID and password, you will be taken to the merchant interface homepage. On the homepage, click on tools in the main menu at the top of the page. Now click on Simple Checkout on the left side. On the Simple Checkout page, you will see that there are three steps that must be completed before you can set up Simple Checkout. For this account, we have already activated the Multiple User Accounts feature, and we have generated the transaction key. If you need information on either of those functions, please review their specific videos located at authorize.net forward slash videos. Accept the Simple Checkout Terms of Service by checking the box next to I have read and understand the Terms of Service and then click I agree. Now you will be taken to the main Simple Checkout page. Here you can add items, edit items, edit appearances, or delete items. Let's start with adding an item. Click on Add Item. Enter the item information. Note that you must enter information next to all boxes with an asterisk. Item name, item ID, type, select donation, product, or service, enter a description if desired, price, and if needed, maximum items per order. To enter a shipping method, click on Add Shipping Method. Enter a shipping description, such as standard delivery, then enter the shipping charge. Be sure to click OK at the bottom of the page to save your changes. Now we are back on the Simple Checkout item page. To complete the setup of this item, click Save at the bottom of the page. The Simple Checkout item page will display the details of the product that we have just entered. As you can see, a pre-generated Buy Now button is displayed on your page. To edit this button, click on Edit Appearance. You can select a different pre-designed button or a customized button. If you select a customized button, you'll need to customize the text for your button. Let's change the text to Purchase Now. Click Save to return to the Simple Checkout item page. In the Buy Now button code section, you will find the HTML code that you will need to cut and paste onto your site to display your button. If you are comfortable working with HTML, you can add this code to your site yourself. However, if you are unfamiliar with HTML, we recommend contacting a developer for technical assistance. A list of Authorize.net certified developers can be found at Authorize.net forward slash CDD. Now that we have successfully entered an item, let's customize your payment form. Click on Payment Form Settings at the bottom of the page. Here you can customize and configure the color settings, header, form fields, verified merchant seal, and the footer. Click on Color Settings to select the color or enter a hex number for text only, 
text links, and background. Click on header to enter your header text. Let's click on form fields. Determine which fields should be viewable, editable, or required when submitting a transaction using the payment form. Check the required box to require a value for that field before the transaction can be processed. Check the view box to allow the field to be viewable on the payment form. Check the edit box to allow the field to be editable on the payment form. We recommend that you check the box next to require the security code. When this feature is enabled, your customer will be required to enter the security code that is randomly generated before they can continue with their order. This is a simple way to help minimize the risk of fraud. You can also provide a link to your shipping and return policies. Click Submit to save your changes. Click on Return Back to the Payment Form main menu. If you would like to display the verified merchant seal on your payment form, check the box and click Submit to display the seal and then return to the Payment Form main menu. For more information on the verified merchant seal, we recommend viewing the verified merchant seal video. Finally, the footer section allows you to enter customized text that will be displayed at the bottom of the payment form. Keep in mind that Simple Checkout has been created for organizations that rely on donations and merchants who typically sell one item at any quantity per order. Simple Checkout may also help simplify your PCI DSS compliance because sensitive card data is entered on our secure servers. We hope this video demo has been helpful and thanks for being a valued Authorized.NET merchant.